Hello, everyone. I want to welcome you to the UML Music Department. I'm Garrett Michelson. I'm going to share with you a few quick tips on how to use and set up Zoom for your music classes. First of all, I want to point out that I'm using a microphone and headphones um, to be on this pretend call. And it's really important that you use those two things. The microphone is going to make your voice be able to be heard more clearly by all the participants on that Zoom meeting. And the headphones are going to help isolate the sound so you're focused on the meeting. You're not hearing what's going on around you and having that distract you. Next thing I want to talk about is the mute button over here in the bottom left corner. You're probably familiar with this, but make sure that every time you are not speaking, you mute yourself and you unmute yourself, of course, to have yourself heard um, whenever you do want to speak. Um, there's this little uh, arrow right here next to the mute button, and that gives you some microphone and speaker settings. Um, make sure that the microphone that you actually want to use is selected here as well as any speakers. So this is a headphone. My headphones are attached to this microphone, and that's why it's going out through this microphone here. Uh, make sure that these settings are set the way that you want them to be. Um, otherwise, uh, the people on the meeting won't be hearing you as you intend. Let's talk about some audio settings that you should do to enable your um, Zoom meetings to sound best for musical purposes. So hit audio settings. And you're brought up here to what are uh, pretty standard default Zoom settings. First thing I want you to change is to deselect automatically adjust microphone volume. What this is going to do is allow you to have more accurate and careful control over the uh, input level of your microphone so that uh, quiet musical sounds can be heard as being quiet versus loud ones. It'll help your instructors really know what you're doing when you're playing through Zoom. Next thing here is to take suppress background noise and turn it down to low. This is gonna, again, make that musical sounds you're playing sound as similar to reality as possible. Hit advanced after that, and you wanna select this show in meeting option to enable original sound from microphone. So let me explain what that is. Clicking that option enables this button up here in the upper left, turn on original sound. And when you click this, it will deactivate all of Zoom's audio processing. It turns think down things like echo cancellation and, and noise suppression. And means it, what this means is that the musical sounds you play will sound closer to and, and more like what they actually sound like. So when I click turn on original sound, now original sound is on, meaning that Zoom's uh, filters are now off. All right, so if I turn off original sound, I now have Zoom's processed audio on. So it seems backwards to me. You click this, turn on to turn something off, but that's just the way they have it on. So most of the time you're gonna to wanna to see turn off original sound in the upper left-hand corner. You're not gonna hear any difference in my audio, by the way, because I am recording this just straight into the computer. Next thing I want to mention here is video. Um, you want to create a background for yourself, some place in your house that's quiet and private, um, or your room, wherever you're living, um, where, you know, there's not a lot of things behind you that can be distracting. Um, and also, we would uh, prefer it if you would have your video on as much as possible. Now, we know that's not always going to be possible, but um, imagine being in a classroom and your instructor is not able to see you, see you and see that you're engaged with what's going on. It's very difficult to teach with um, a number of people without video on. So please try to keep it on as often as you possibly can. Now, there are some buttons down here in my interface that you will not have in yours as a uh, meeting participant. But the next one I want to talk about is the chat button. Uh, your instructor may limit chat. Um, and the one thing I want to point out about chat is that anything that you write in there, including any private messages, will show up in the chat transcript after the call is done. So be careful what you put in there. Everyone will be able to see it eventually. <clears throat> Important button is the share screen. This is how you can share things that are on your computer with everyone else. And one thing I want to point out about this is that if you hit desktop one, which is what this is typically called, um, you, uh, everyone will see exactly everything that's on your computer, including anything on the desktop, any, um, anything around the windows that you might actually want to share. So I recommend not using that desktop one option. Click a specific window of an application, like for instance here, I'm looking at a note flight window from Safari. If I want to share a note flight score, just share that single window with that score in it. And that way, nothing else is seen. Another thing to make sure you click is to share computer sound. Otherwise, no one will hear any sounds made by your computer as it's playing them, which is something we often need to do in music classes. And the last thing 
I want to mention is about sharing a screen is to remember to stop that share when you are finished. Okay. Don't leave it up on the screen for too long. Um, last thing I want to mention here is breakout rooms. Your instructor will probably have you do go into breakout rooms, um, at some point during, during a meeting. And the only thing I want to say about that is make sure you consider that to be, um, those discussions that you have in breakout rooms. Don't say anything that you wouldn't say to a person, uh, a classmate in when you're in person. All right. Consider, um, consider the way you behave in those breakout rooms, um, where you're not always uh, with your teacher as, um, moments where you are uh, on your best behavior and being respectful of everyone's ideas and opinions. That's all I have to say. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have a great semester.